Hey everybody, this is Will from Corn Bear. Today I'm going to point out some things you might not have noticed in the Fallout 4 trailer. So, here we go, let's get started. So the first thing I noticed is this clock up here is set at 9.47, like all the clocks are on the East Coast in Fallout 3. Kind of cool they paid enough attention to that. Here we can see him just pan out, show us kind of the destruction, and we get the first cut back to the pre-war time. Then they come back, we see the dog come in. Folks, uh, the announcer's talking about what's going to happen with the Great War. So you see the dog explore some more. The Mr. Handy box is right there from what we saw earlier in the trailer. We seem to have lost contact with our affiliate stations. Stand by. We do, we do have. And here it kind of takes the bleaker turn to where we're used to in Fallout, not the happy go lucky time. And then right here they switch over. Here's before and here's after. Nice to see they focused on both times. And then here it happens again before and after. And then it happens a third time here. And I'll have you focus on this woman right here because, spoiler alert. She dies. There's her dead body. Looks pretty much like her. Here's Ron Perlman. You know he's back. One never changes. It's Fall 11. You can see the logo is a little different than what normally happens on a fall. And here you can see there's stairs outside, so you can see the door opens up nice and even. Then here you're coming up an elevator. Maybe that has something to do with the new vault logo. Maybe it doesn't. Who knows? And then here we can see the first science boss, and this is Bunker Hill Monument. And then here we can see there's a pirate ship with rockets on it. So that's a thing in this game. And then here we can see a mysterious stranger in front of Scully Square, another identifier that the Fallout 4 is taking place in Boston. And then here, these might be super mutants, they might be someone in power armor. Not sure. And then here we can see Protectatrons have been updated since the last couple of games. And then we get this guy, a badass Deathclaw who looks like he's been tripping on roids all of his life. Vertibird. These might be new ghouls. Nothing we've seen before it doesn't look like, but who knows. Here we can see Fenway Park showing again it's Boston, but what it seems to be is Fenway is now a city based on these scenes right here. There's a blimp flying over the Paul Revere Monument. Vertibird giving you a nice overlook of the city. And then here we can see the city seems more dense than what we're used to in Fallout. Dense doesn't necessarily mean better, but it could be more interesting. And then here we can see the elevator door again lifting you up. Of course, then the bomb goes off, saying the place where we're used to in Fallout. Alright, in the last scene here we get to see the Frankenstein power armor. It looks like it's mostly Brotherhood steel armor. It could be partly Enclave. Not sure if the protagonist gets to wear it, but it'd be pretty cool if we do. Then here we see the protagonist approaching. We figure out he's from Vault 111. And then dogs can be your companion. Let's go, pal. Here we can see things on the end of a weapon. Maybe mods are back for this game. They're pretty cool. And the last thing here, of course, it's Fallout 4. Hopefully I've told you some things you didn't already know. Point out a couple things you might not have noticed. If you liked it, please hit like. If not, alright, thanks you guys. I'm Will. This has been Corn Bear. See you next time.